This video is brought to you by Kinhank, your next level retro game console online shop. Click the link in the description below for more details. Hey guys, VicHD here. Boy, do I have a story to tell you guys. You see, um, believe it or not, I did manage to work with James Rolfe at one point. Yeah, the angry video game nerd. Albeit indirectly, but I did work with him. And it was involving this um, teaser trailer for... Uh, a fan game that was going to be released at the time. This was back in 2009, during the early years of the Angry Video Game Nerd when it started to catch on. And during that time, there were a lot of fan games that were being developed. And of course, uh, James was involved in some of the uh, audio recordings, audio lines of the uh, of some of these fan games. So they were kind of cool with it. And a good friend of mine. Osuka, he got involved in one of the projects called ABGN Random Rampage, which was basically a first-person shooter, Doom clone kind of concept where it's the nerd shooting a, a bunch of, like, say, um, licensed LJN games or something similar to that. And it was kind of like a funny concept at first, but the game unfortunately never came out. But uh, at the time, Osuka actually got in contact with the game developer and pitched this idea of doing let's say a uh, a 3d animated teaser trailer of uh, the angry video game nerd character uh, being interrogated by this detective over mistreatment of uh, licensed games osuka eventually got in contact with me to help him out for, for two things one as a script writer and two being the live action placeholder scene for this project see i actually went to osuka's house and did the live action scenes as a sort of a placeholder just so I could act out both from the nerd's perspective and from the detective's perspective. And it all boils down to, let's say, um, the nerd pretty much attacking the detective and just grabbing him by the throat wearing the power glove. It was going to be like a really funny, um, funny scene there. So eventually I wrote the script. I sent it to Osuka. Osuka sent it to Cinemassacre. And, of course, uh, James Rolfe actually replied, sent the lines, tweaked the script a little bit, sent it to me, and we acted this out. And uh, we filmed this in Osuka's house uh, just as a sort of like a, a sample of what the scene would look like. And we did have a bit of fun working on it. Unfortunately, you know, due to unknown circumstances, the game never really took off. And uh, we had this demo for many years. Uh, we kind of established a sort of like a non-disclosure agreement in the event if the game was ever released or ever made, but unfortunately that, that never really uh, came up again. But I still have, let's say, the demo, and, and the demo has been sitting on one of my clouds for like many years, and I was wondering if uh, if it would be okay to share it. So I decided to reach out to Asuka to see if uh, if he would be fine with, with me sharing the uh, the clip. And he pretty much gave me the go-ahead. So what you have here is an actual clip of that uh, of that trailer, this placeholder of what could have been. So hope you enjoy this clip. All right, tough guy. Let's start from the top. What's your occupation? I'm a game critic. Hmm. What can you tell me about these old movies? Well, some of those are awesome, but the others are a piece of shit. What about the games based on these movies? All those games suck ass. Are you the man responsible of torturing most of these games? What if I am? Don't act cool with me, kid. I got numerous reports here of you destroying and vandalizing games and consoles from other companies that are, quote, a shitload of fuck. Because it's true. I destroyed these games because the companies who made them are an abomination to society. The games are a piece of shit, and I'm the only one around here that knows exactly what to do with them. What are you going to do, kid? You going to take me back to the past? I'm not afraid of some wussy-ass video game nerd. Guess who's playing with power now, bitch? Now, as stated before, this scene was originally going to have the nerd choke the detective while wearing the power glove. It was supposed to be like a really funny scene just to build up the trailer for Random Rampage, and unfortunately that just didn't materialize. However, um, Osuka actually sent me an image of a character render of the Angry Video Game Nerd in 3D. He did this animating it in 3DS Max, which was a 3D animation tool that he was using at the time. 
But yeah, that was the brief instant where I actually worked with James Rolfe and the people at Cinemasker. I'll be indirectly, but I did work with them at one point. Um, if I was given the opportunity to work with James Rolfe in some way, shape, or form, I would be thrilled to help him out in some way. But who knows? Maybe in the foreseeable future, I might get involved in a project with them, and uh, we'll see along the way what will happen. Anyway, thanks for watching, as well as uh, thanks to Asuka for giving me the go-ahead to share this video, as well as uh, sharing this little character render. And I just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, I did get involved with uh, Cinemassacre at some point. And who knows, maybe in the future I might help him out again. <laughs> Only one can dream, right? But anyway, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, help support the channel in any way you can. And uh, I'll see you guys down the road. Till next time.